shalom friends uh, welcome to my channel uh, today i will talk about what to do when your primary and archive mailbox quota is full so i will show you what to do to extend archive storage size up to 1.5 terabyte in microsoft 365 so by default microsoft 365 depending on extension line subscription plan uh, that you have namely extension line plan one or extension line plan two you are entitled to storage quota capacity that runs out when it's full so that means if you have uh, for example assigned a user license that has extension line plan one that user only has a fixed storage capacity of 50 gigabyte for primary mailbox and 50 gigabyte for archive mailbox if you fill out primary mailbox quarter, users won't be able to send and receive emails. Hence, Microsoft offers a feature in Exchange Online called Auto Expanding. With Auto Expanding, users can get more archive storage up to 1.5 terabyte. So, a few things uh, to note before enabling Auto Expanding feature in Exchange Online is number one, their account to turn on auto expanding feature needs to have global administrator role assigned once auto expanding is enabled that is number two it cannot be disabled it's one way no reverting changes number three archiving has to be turned on for the user mailbox you are planning to enable auto expanding a point to note number four is Normal archive mailbox will automatically be converted into an auto expanding archive. Number five, uh, you can only use PowerShell to enable auto expanding feature. You cannot you cannot use uh, Microsoft uh, 365 Extension Online Admin Center or any other uh, uh, tool in M365 to turn on that feature. Number six, auto expanding prevents you from restoring or recovering inactive mailbox. That means if auto expanding is enabled in inactive mailbox, the only way to get back data is by use of content search feature available in compliance admin center. Now, having noted that, uh, we can proceed and turn on auto expanding for specific users in our tenant or the entire tenant. So like I said, you can only enable auto expanding using Microsoft PowerShell. So we need first to connect to Exchange Online PowerShell session. So to do that, I just launch the PowerShell application as administrator. Clear the screen and then now I can connect to Exchange Online. I had already installed Extension Online Management uh, module uh, in my computer, so that's why I just typed in the command line to send me into Extension Online. So the account that I'm going to use is that. Just give it some time to load. Okay, my network today is kind of slow i don't know why so that is connecting so step one that you can do uh you can enable to uh auto expanding uh, for specific user uh, in Exchange Online, or you can just turn on uh, auto expanding for the entire tenant. But you need as well to note the prerequisite is to enable archive and then now turn on auto expanding. The command to turn on uh, auto expanding for the entire tenant is set config. That is set, not set configs, that is set organization. Config 
and then hyphen and then type in auto I'll just press tab so uh, that will fill out for me if I press tab so that's how the command looks like that's how the command looks like for uh, turning up uh, auto expanding for the entire tenant but I don't want to do this um, I just want to enable to expanding for a specific uh, user uh, account so to do that I, I just need to use another command and that is that should be enable mailbox and then now type in the user so for my case um, just go to the user you might just the test user that i want to use and that is i need to use this this account test user banner so is the account and if i can query about this account i, I haven't enabled a archive for this mailbox to know that and just scroll down here and then i just launch compliance admin center so the first thing is to turn on archive for such user before enabling auto expanding so maybe you need to scroll down And then information governance. And then you need to go to archive tab. And then from here, locate the user. My case is this user. As you can see, archive mailbox is disabled. So this is the user whom I want to uh, to enable. So to enable archive, you just need to click more button here or you can just press enable here that's all so it does to work so you need to select the user close the flyout and then enable archive if i hit refresh and then i have enabled uh, archive mailbox enabled already i have an archive mailbox for this user Okay, now we can turn on auto expanding for this user. So enable mailbox and then now I can type the user. then I need to call this switch archive should not be archive it should be auto auto expand auto expanding archive and then hit enter give it some time As you can see already it has went through successfully uh, to check the status of auto expanding for this mailbox i just need to get mailbox i can just copy press the user account here and auto Funding. okay you can see it's, it's nothing but i made a mistake so i just need to correct that
I need to enter again. As you can see now, auto expanding archive enabled true. So with it being turned to true, it's enabled to check for another user whom I haven't enabled auto expanding. I can just uh, query that user as well. I try with the account that I'm currently logged in as. That is one. And you can see it's false. So auto expanding archive enabled is false. If I query the auto expanding uh, status for the entire tenant, we just remove the entire thing. We should just get organization should we get organization config should be organization con config and then pipeline we filter Auto expanding archive enabled, and as you can see, for the entire tenant, the auto expanding archive enabled is false. So, by that, um, you can see how easy. Uh, you can turn on auto expanding for your users or for the entire tenant in microsoft 365 so by just enabling that feature you have up to 1.5 terabyte uh, of storage apart from the primary mailbox quarter and the primary archive mailbox quarter so thanks guys if you have any questions you can ask in comments below and i will respond it in due time. Uh, bye bye.